Oh, oh, there you go. Hey, check this out. Here's the situation. Say you out with your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You know, you're at school, you at a club or something, getting busy. All right, you just having fun. Somebody steps up to you and they tell you they want to rumble. All right, now, now just stop for a second. Before you lose your head, get all crazy and toss your hands up, just think. The person that uses their head can always defeat the person that's just trying to use their hands. Now, remember that. <laughs> Hello, I'm Hot Toddy, that's Miss Pingrino, and welcome to an all-new episode of... Get... Real. And on this episode of Get Real, if you haven't figured it out already, we're going to be talking about the movie that's just killing it right now in the theaters, the one, the movie that everybody loves, critics and audiences alike. Miss Pingrino, of yeah. course, I'm talking about Uncharted. <laughs> No, <laughs> Not dying. of course, we're talking about the new Batman movie called simply known as The Batman. Fear is a tool. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. Starring Robert Pattinson and Selena Go not Selena Gomez. Wow. <laughs> no. Wow, I screwed that up. Bitch, are you for real? No, also starring Zoe Kravitz, Jeffrey Wright, John Turturro, Colin Farrell, and Which Paul I had no idea because boy. We'll get into that. And also Makeup. <laughs> Paul Dano as uh, the Riddler. So um great film. Uh, let's let's get into it. This is the movie that everybody's talking about and and chamoring for all movie critic online movie critics to talk about. It's been out for a while. I just haven't had any real desire to see it up until a few days ago. So we saw yeah. it. Uh, Miss Pingrino, what is your thoughts on the Well, Batman? well first things first. <laughs> okay. It's so long. It's it closes in on 3 hours this movie. Almost just... 3 hours. Yeah. I feel like I have a bit of a, a adult ADD, and so let's just say I can sit through movies very easily um, and not have to go to the bathroom or get agitated. I had to go to the bathroom in this one. Well, that's, I did too. That's like a that's a thing for me because I don't go to the bathroom. I tend to go to the movies. bathroom a you lot do. of the time. Yeah, I don't I do. though. Yeah, I, I do. don't move. Um, well, that's not that insane. But besides that fact, uh -huh. it was a very good movie. It was very in depth though, which yeah is a lot. Um, it's definitely a movie that you have to be prepared to watch, like your brain has to be in it, because if you're just like, oh, it's another action movie, or another superhero, movie. or another superhero movie, that no, like this takes more thought, more concentration than those, and in I, my opinion. And I thought it was a solid fine movie. I didn't think it was spectacular. Everybody's calling it the greatest Batman movie to ever exist. Uh, I disagree uh, because the greatest Batman movie that ever existed was the Batman movie starring Adam West. Soon, very soon, Batman and I will be batapulting right out of your TV sets and onto your theater screens. To challenge the most bataclysmic collection of super criminals ever. And of course the Batman television show. That's my Batman. That's where but I that's more start. Of a cartoon that's where I start the day and I end it there. <laughs> and the, the farthest I'll go is Michael Keaton uh, mm. and Christian Bale. I did enjoy the Christian Bale Batman movies. They were actually I consider The Dark Knight one of the best movies ever made. It's not in my list, you know, the very important list that I have mm. of the best movies that have ever been Thank made. Thank God, because that would be something else we have in this house. Yeah, and there's tons more coming. You don't even know. But the okay. point is, uh, I think it's a great film. Uh, the Batman was a, a decent film. Here's my thing, though. I just we we've done it so much now. We have had so many Batmans. 
in the last decade, Batman. like 10 years ago yeah. this summer, was the final movie of the Christian Bale, uh, Christopher Nolan Batman movies. It was The Dark Knight Rises. Right. Uh, that was the one that had him fighting Bane, and Catwoman was in that one too. It was, I almost, God, I almost said Faye Dunaway. I, I'm messing up everybody's names. Anne Hathaway. <laughs> Fa just, like, Faye, Dunaway Faye Dunaway was in the equally bad uh, Supergirl movie from 1984. Yeah. You shouldn't have done that, baby. <gasps> yeah, so you had that movie, and then we had like three years of peace, and then it was like, hey! The DC Universe, they're going to have their own Batman. It's going to be Ben Affleck. And then the first movie we're going to do is this horrible Batman v Superman thing. And it was horrible. She with you? I thought she was with you. That was a terrible, headache-inducing film, and I hated it. And then he was in the Justice League. And then everything, and then everything got kind of put on pause with Batman. Uh, we took a look at Aquaman. And a lot I like Aquaman. The ladies took good. a long look at Aquaman. And, yeah. I mean, it's Jason Momoa. Why I like to be nude. Muscles. Not necessarily just his muscles. Hey. The hair and the, get the it, vibe. Wait, 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 get it? Muscles? Because he's, uh, he's a sea creature? Muscles? Oh, God. <laughs> that shit was ass. So we, we, put a, we put a hold on Batman. We did Aquaman. And then, really, the DC Universe as a whole has just been kind of quiet these last few years, especially during the pandemic. We yeah. had Suicide Squad sequels. We had a Shazam. But nothing really big. Shazam. Uh, um, <laughs> Shazam. And then, out the blue, we had that Joker movie with uh, Joaquin Phoenix that had no attachment to the DC Universe. And then we get this Batman movie, which yeah. also has no attachment to the DC universe. And I just read an article shortly after we saw the movie, where Chris, uh, what, what, was the, what was the dude's name that played him? Robert Pattinson. Thank you. I almost said Chris Pratt. It's, I'm, I'm. Whoa! You are. Are do you have a stroke? I read that Robert Pattinson's out. Ben Affleck's coming back. What? I don't know. I you don't. can't just change the Batman. I look at Batman as sort of like the role of the president, or as the role of like the. the about that. Well, no, 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 no. What I mean is, it's a very, it's a coveted role. Like yeah. the president, the presidency is a coveted role. The host of the Tonight Show is James a coveted. James Bond is a coveted yeah. role. The Tonight Show host is a coveted role. You like to look down that list of people that have played this character, you know, yeah. or, or have done this role for so long. Uh, are they serious about bringing? And ben what I, that was an them? article I read. I don't know if it's for Shizzle, but it's it's the rumor now that uh, he's ben too Affleck, old. Well, it's not that he's too old. He's already done it, and he has also. And is he coming back for DC, or is he coming back to do another standalone Batman? Like it just doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. Because personally, I think Robert Pattinson actually did a very good job. Because, That's the surprising you know, thing about this film. He had so many years from Twilight practicing being that dark, brooding character. <sighs> But but what is Batman? I mean, what's Bruce Wayne? A dark, dark and brooding, brooding character. character. So, so like, it, it I works. mean, he looked depressed he, and Bruce sickly Wayne. And Bruce Wayne is darker than the sparkly vampires of Twilight. Mm -hmm. So uh, that and that's when I first heard that Robert Pattinson. That's the biggest surprise about this movie was uh, when I first heard that he was taking on the role. My first thought was, wait, sparkly vampire is going to play <laughs> Batman? But he wasn't really the sparkly vampire one. He but, was always. But the, he was in the teeny bopper. Twilight films and, and he's like the, the ladies go crazy for him the thing about Batman is that he is an, he's an attractive <laughs> man the thing about the Bat about Batman is he attract he's an attractive man but he's not like the first tier on the list of the sexiest men alive I thought the same thing a lot of people do oh, wait a minute he's, he's gonna eat Robert Pattinson but then Robert Pattinson brought it in this yeah. movie he was really really good I was very pleasantly surprised he did a really good job uh, as both Bruce Wayne and Batman and that's that's a difficult role to fill, but again, like I, I, if he was going to replace Ben Affleck in the DC universe, I was going to be completely down for that after seeing this film. Yeah. But it's not a DC universe film. film. It's just a standalone Batman. This originally was supposed to be the standalone Batman film that Ben Affleck was going to star in for the DC universe. 
but then it got all top, topsy turvy and, and you know development hell, and it turned into the standalone thing, which doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense. Oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. It's just an excuse to say, hey, you know, you know, Batman. Here's another Batman movie. Here it comes. Here it is. Yeah, I feel and like that's it. DC is just, even though it, it's not necessarily. DC. They're just trying to put DC stuff out to keep up with Marvel. They, and that's the bottom line. Is they're yeah. just trying to make money off of the same success that Marvel has. Unfor the unfortunate thing, the problem is that Marvel did it right. They knew how to do it. The, so the, Mar the Marvel <laughs> Cinematic Universe has been going on now since 2008. I would like to point that out. Since 2008 and has done it successfully. Of course, now at this point, it just kind of feels like a like a it's machine. Enough. It's it feels yeah. like a machine that's just constantly plopping these things out, and so it's it's kind of lost its elegance. But Marvel knew how to do it. DC was like, ah, Superman. Here's Man of Steel, and then ah, Batman v Superman. Here it is, and then Justice League, and then and so they just started like throwing stuff, stuff. at us. Yeah. And none of it was sticking, but they still kept throwing. <laughs> they kept throwing because they thought something the spaghetti was going to stick on the wall eventually. And, and that's kind of how I feel about this Batman. It's like, it was a good movie, sure, but I can't get comfortable in saying, that was a great Batman movie. They did that right and move on with my life because I know within the next year or two, they're going to be like, here's another Batman. This well, time, I mean, this time he's, he's going to play, be played by Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds is going to play him this time. Uh, yeah. Ryan Reynolds could not be uh, Steve Urkel, he's going to play him. <laughs> Jaleel White's going to play him. They're too funny <laughs> to play Batman. <laughs> let's bring Patrick Stewart out of it. You know, he's, he's, well. he's, he's over 80 years old at this point, <laughs> well, but who cares? Here he is, he's Batman now. An unmitigated disaster. You know, it's just, it's enough I mean, you know they already. set it up for another one, too, at they the did. end. They did, because, so, well, do we, want to, do, we, well, do we want to go into spoilers? Not necessarily spoiler. We'll just say, you, uh, if from knowing the Batman comics, you know Batman has a lot of enemies. But there's one enemy in particular. One in particular, but of course he only really fought one. I mean, there were multiple in the movie, but he only went head-to-head -head with that, one in and this that, movie. That's what I found interesting and kind of confusing at the same time. That's Especially, like, because there's the movie deals with a lot of greed, and, and the movie deals with politicians who have fallen off the wayside uh, becoming super corrupt. corrupt. That's yeah. the word I'm looking for. They're, they're very, they're becoming, it's the Gotham politicians becoming super corrupt, and uh, in, in the middle of all of it is Batman, who actually had a corrupt father, and so uh, the but not Riddler. not purposely corrupt. Not purposely corrupt, but that's, that's part of the film. And the Riddler is out to set everything straight, and he's killing all of these corrupt business people and beloved, beloved icons of of Gotham and and I did find that interesting because it kind of begs the question of who's the real enemy you know that's yeah. that's that's been sort of like the theme of the latest Batman movies like well the that was kind of the theme of the last Joker that's what's about you yeah. took the words out of my mouth they've cut our funding we're closing down our offices next week the city has cut funding across the board social services is part of that this is the last time we'll be meeting they don't give a shit about people like you Arthur and they really don't give a shit about people like me either. The, the Joker movie was about like, who's the bad guy? Because Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne's dad, treated the, guy, the Joker before he was the Joker really badly. I don't need you to tell me lies. I know it seems strange. I don't mean to make you uncomfortable. I don't know why everyone is so rude. I don't know why you are. I don't want anything from you. Maybe a little bit of warmth, maybe a hug, dad. How about just a little bit of fucking decency? What is it with you people? You say that stuff to my mother? <laughs> Touch my son again, I'll <laughs> fucking kill you. Yeah. And so, and it's, it's, it, it looked like the rich being mean to the poor and, and disabled. And so it, 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 this movie kind of continues that theme of who's the real bad guy here? Is it the Riddler who's killing off these corrupt politicians? Or is it uh, the corrupt politicians themselves? Or is it Batman for stopping all of it? it it's, it's that convoluted thing. So you kind of have to when you watch the movie, your, your mind starts to wander in those directions, but at, at the end of the film, you, you come to the conclusion of, okay, that's bad, but you shouldn't be killing these people. Some of these people have families, you know, and, and Batman's in you know, I was gonna say, Batman is definitely not the bad guy. No. Um, it is kind of hard not to side with the Riddler, though. And a lot of what he was talking about. the politicians are yeah. hardcore bad in this one. Yeah. And, but I do say this is a very good setup as to why Gotham is the way it is. Because like, yeah. a lot of Batmans just go into Gotham's a bad city. They need to have this nighttime Avenger to fix it. But you don't really know 
how it became so bad. This kind of breaks it this down. This breaks it down a little and, bit. And like yeah. tells you that. Right, and you know, the, the Christopher Nolan, Christian Bale Batmans dug into that a little bit. They, they talked about a lot of the uh, corrupt politicians. One of the one of the politicians that wasn't corrupt and looked like he was going to be the, the actual real hero of Gotham was Harvey Dent. You're the symbol of hope I could never be. Your stand against organized crime is the first legitimate ray of light in Gotham in decades. And then we all know what happens to Harvey Dent. You know who Harvey Dent is, don't you? This is the only Batman I've actually seen all the way through. It's, it's, it's horrible. Anyway, Harvey Dent is the district attorney of Gotham and a horrible accident happens to one side of his face and he becomes Two-Face. Two -face. Harvey, put down the gun. Please, no. please, please Harvey. Please. Damn it, will you stop pointing that gun at my family? But anyway, so, so right. But so the, like that's that's the that's the horrible luck that Gotham has. The only th good thing it has going for it is Batman who's there to save the day. Yeah. Uh, so this kind of and that and that like I said that dove a little bit into it in the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. Uh, this one you you really get hardcore into it and you find out that a lot of these politicians, spoiler alert, uh they don't necessarily work for the penguin, but like the penguin is like, hey, come on in, I'll give you girls, drugs, money, uh, you know, just sweep what all my stuff while what I'm doing under the rug, under the rug. just type yeah. of stuff. And so they're they're protecting the penguin, Oswald Cobblepot. You notice that they never <laughs> actually, <laughs> you notice that they actually they never actually said his full name in the movie because his name is hilarious. I mean, you don't mm. think of a <laughs> you don't think of a crazy mobster killer so when you, you think of the name Oswald <laughs> Cobblepot. You want to know something funny? What's that? Uh, the people who make my modules for my job, yeah, uh, they type up scenarios, and apparently one of them is a big fan of Batman because Oswald Cobblepot is a customer that we help in our scenarios all the time. <laughs> No way! Yes. So you you so just so you know, you're helping the penguin out. I'm right? helping the penguin. So you're part of the problem. Well, normally the Riddler should have killed you. <laughs> normally I tell him I can't return stuff. Well, does he pull out a, an umbrella and go? Wah, 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 wah. No, I tell him he has to call the uh, corporate number. Oh yeah. well, and, and listen, listen. <laughs> I was like, somebody's a big fan. Of Oswald <laughs> Cobblepot is is corrupt enough that he would probably get the corporation to change everybody's he, mind. He probably would. It's the way it rolls. He'd get whatever he wanted from our corporation. Uh, but no, I, something I that, that is funny. That is funny. <laughs> But Oswald Cobblepot, a.k.a. The Penguin, is played by Colin Farrell. And as you said at the beginning... There's no way you know that. This is some of the best <laughs> makeup effects that I've ever seen in a movie. Does it? Okay, Colin Farrell. Very good-looking man. Older, but not, like, old. Yeah. No, like, he's, he's, he's a very in-shape, good-looking guy. Good-looking guy. But this, this is what they turned even... him into. This is what he looks like. This is what they turned him into, <laughs> and it was so convincing. My everyone um, in the car when I told them at the end of the movie, like, you know, that's Colin Farrell, and they're like, what? Because like, there's no like, because normally a lot of times when you put like a heavy set makeup on or a, a makeup to change, you still can tell like by this area, yeah, normally who you're looking at, it's, or if know, they heavy up here, you can see that there's normally at least you know what that one is? feature that you can tell nothing. That's the Saturday Night nothing. Live effect. That's the Saturday. Is it raining? It sounds like it. Dang. That's the Saturday Night Live effect where they dress them up. They can dress them up as much of a costume or makeup as you want, but you can always tell that There's little feature, one feature or that voice. You know, oh, that's so that's so. But even in movies. You know? Good afternoon and welcome to Robot Repair. Even in movies, for right. the most part, like th this makeup artist, props, dude. Mm -hmm. Hard or chick. No, no, no. He doesn't. They don't work in props, they work in makeup. <laughs> Na, 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 that shit was ass. No, like seriously, whoever did this makeup on point because you you have no idea that that's Colin Farrell. You didn't. You would never know no. if you didn't know he was in the film. But they no. did. They that that's some of the highlights of the film was the makeup, and uh, and and don't get me wrong, the story was like I said, like we've been saying, is is very good. <laughs> I love this corruption, this evil side of Gotham, and that Batman is forced to get in the middle of it. I don't want to get too deep into it because it'd be spoilers, but yeah. in case you haven't seen it yet. But I mean, it is it, it is a really decent film. I am in no way, I will never say it's the best Batman. I don't know if I would say it's a good mob film. 
it really is. It's a great. <laughs> it's like a great noir what it film. It yes. really is like yes. a great. Uh, you know, nighttime Avenger, nighttime, uh, but not necessarily uh, Batman. Vigilante. Yes. So. Uh, but it's a neo noir, like very like. Yeah, that's right. I was doing this back in the day, you know, you know, kind of one of those types of. <laughs> Hear films. the overhead. She walked into the in room. Fact, <laughs> in fact, the the Riddler gets caught in the the Boulevard of Broken Dreams painting. Oh yeah. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? No. Okay. <laughs> But it was really good. I really liked how they portrayed the Riddler. I mean, the Riddler is a mad, the Riddler is a madman. It can be cruel, poetic, or blind. But when it's denied, it's your violence you may find. And he's 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 just as mad as the Joker. Yeah. Uh, he's just as crazy as him, and 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 that's apropos because they are a lethal force. Whereas the Penguin is more corrupt, and Two-Face is more just about his own style of vengeance. Yeah. Uh, the Riddler and the Joker are l l legally insane. And yeah. that's why, say, yeah. Oz Ozzy Oswald. Cobblepot. Cobblepot. Um, he is just, he's just a mobster. Yeah. That's literally all he is. That's all he is. Uh, so, but, so that's why the Joker and the Riddler are the most compelli compelling villains. Doesn't the Batman fight like a Mr. Freeze? Something like it. Mr. Freeze, yes, he fought. Yeah, yeah Mr. What, Freeze. What category does he fall in? Uh, and Mr. Freeze is—he's too much of a comical villain. Hmm. I don't think you would see a Mr. Freeze in these movies, like these these types of <laughs> Batman movies that they're doing <laughs> nowadays. They're too dark. Because they're too dark and too real. And and again, he's too like cartoony, too comical. Uh, the Riddler, I, like I'm looking at my wall, you don't see him. But I have figures from the Batman TV show hanging on my wall over there. And I'm looking at the Penguin and I'm looking at the Riddler and the Joker and they're goofy villains. Mm. But like you can make those dark. Mr. Freeze you really can't make dark. He's, he, there's no... Understandable. It, he's undarkable. Und uh, I don't know if anybody's completely undarkable, but I feel like it would take it would be a challenge. It would be a challenge with him. Um, More so than they probably want to put forth into the movie. I loved Zoe Kravitz in this film, though. She was great as uh, Catwoman. She's Catwoman, Selena Kyle, and she's Catwoman's a good guy in this. Or in this, in in the typical Catwoman way. Not necessarily she, bad, but not. She's the not best. a bad guy, <laughs> but she does. She's a good guy who does bad things. She's a good guy who does bad things for purpose. For a good purpose. Yes. There's, there you go. It's... You almost poked me in the eye. And, uh, you are a sad, strange little man. But yeah, that's what, she's really good. And I, I loved how they portrayed her. Zoe Kravitz did a great job. Overall, I think the movie is solid. Mm -hmm. I just, again, I, I don't think there's ever been a greatest Batman movie ever made. Like, they've already made the greatest Spider-Man movie. They did that with No Way Home. That was done. They've, they've made it. Okay. So they don't really have to make any more. They've made the, the best one. They probably will try. <laughs> they probably will try to capitalize on it. Um, I, I would say the closest dark, uh, cl closest Batman movie that is considered the best Batman movie it's is The Dark Knight. Is The Dark Knight with, with Heath Ledger's Joker. It, well, it really I was mean, great. That could be more so just because of Heath Ledger. I mean, that he contributed a lot to it. But there's Rest also. Sweet soul. But there's also the 1989 Tim Burton Batman, which was a little cartoony, but it was fun. And it was a, an exciting action movie. Is that the, the one where Danny DeVito was That's Batman. Batman Returns, and he plays the penguin in that. A very gross version of the penguin, I might mm -hmm. add. See that's that's where they start to lose me. Like Batman was solid, and then Batman Returns is like, eh, it's pretty good. And then the, the Forever, Batman and Robin, <laughs> it's bad. It just, they went down in quality, and that's why we didn't have one uh, a Batman movie for a long time after that. But I, I would say Dark Knight and and the original 1989 Batman is, in terms of films, is the best Batman. Of course, this is the best Batman that has ever lived. Adam West's Batman. TV show. Don't even try to go up against him. Nana, 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 nana. Better. Nana, 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 nana,